Hi, I'm Dylan Gaston with WeBeam TV, and we are back at the Tampa Home Show with another great vendor. I have with me Charles from Bin Bathers. What is Bin Bathers, you may ask? Hi, Charles. Hi, Welcome. Look, you. I got a cool little squishy uh, trash can. Tell us about Bin Bathers. Uh, Bin Bathers is a company that will come to your home or your commercial business. Uh, we clean trash, recycle bins, dumpsters. We also do pressure washing, uh, sidewalks, driveways. Um, even patios if that needs to be. There you go, there you go. So um, the concept, we we're talking a little bit in the break, the um, cleaning out the, like you said, people have diapers or things like that. You don't think about the bacteria and stuff that if you wash it out yourself. Right, yeah, if you um, have diapers, uh, uh, poo bags that may burst in your trash bins, um, you know, increase bacteria, um, salmonella. Um, so it's, it's better for us for us to come out and clean your bins because if you clean your bins you're throwing the bacteria into your yards which is where your child is going to be running around playing small right. children uh, even your pets right so you're contaminating your area so with us we come in we're clean all that polluted water goes into our, our tank which is on our truck and once we finish for the day we'll take that water and we take it to the port where they have a waste section at the port oh, where we pick up the water. How about that? I was wondering, I was gonna ask you that too. So tell us about the truck, cause this folks sounds really cool. I just wanna see it in action. Tell us about the truck. Um, it's a small Zuzu truck that will drive around. Um, it has a lift just just like your tr uh, trash and recycle trucks. So what the truck does is pick the bins up and it power washes the bins out inside. We also have a wand that we use that we pressure wash the outside of your bin, so that is clean as well at the same time. Oh, yeah, because a lot of the stuff gets out on that right. too as well. And it helps, you know, some people have a lot of pain or, you know, maybe some color that gets on the outside of cans. You know, with the pressure washer, usually you get most of that stuff off. Yeah, and some of these neighborhoods, I know that you guys work a lot in South Tampa and stuff, some of the neighborhoods, they're pretty particular about, uh, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're measuring how tall your grass is. They're probably looking at how well your cans are taken care of. <laughs> well, I haven't uh, heard anything on that part yet, but I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. I mean, you do, in some places you would get fined for having, you know, high grass if you haven't cut it in a certain amount of time. So I think we'd come to the point of, hey, if those trash cans are dirty, you will know, end up getting a fine for that as well. Right, probably. Yeah. So tell us all about, uh, you also do, in addition to cleaning, so on the commercial side, the uh, dumpsters and dumpsters, stuff. Dumpsters, yes. Um, you know, we have, uh, what we do, we'll come out, uh, once the trash has been empty, we would pressure wash the inside of the tra the dumpsters out. We also have a vacuum cleaner that's on the truck that specializes pulling that nasty water out of there into the tanks as well. So, um, I would imagine if a, you know, business owner, let's say a restaurant owner or something, uh, in the Tampa Bay area or whatever, do they like, have you set up on a regular schedule? So you come like the day of trash, you know, that afternoon or something, especially restaurants. I would imagine a lot of garbage gets right. put in there. Talk yes, about, I do, I do know. have one company for sure that, um, we just started and we do have a particular day, uh, every Friday right. that we'll go out and, and clean. But sometimes the biggest issue with that, even you know, it kind of pushes us back a little bit because you know dealing with the city of Tampa, sometimes the trash trucks and recycles don't always uh, operate on yeah. you know a timely manner. So, uh, but that would be a really good um, thing for some of the uh, restaurant owners to set up with you, huh? To come out on a regular basis. On a regular to, basis, yeah, yes, absolutely. With a lot of food and things being right. dumped in the dumpsters, yes. Right. Yeah, and, and, and it sure keeps the rats away, and it rats, keeps the, the raccoons, the raccoons uh, the and stuff like that. And that you know, incense. don't always just dump out. Yeah, exactly. Right. And then you also do power washing, for, as you said, for sidewalks or right. driveways Sidewalk, or things driveways. like that. Sidewalk, uh, We can also do patios. We do have a portable uh, pressure washer that we can Excellent. carry around just to get to the areas where the truck won't make it to. Okay, perfect. And um, where you guys, like, what's your, give me a little bit of an idea of your territory. Um, territory, we go as far as west as St. Pete, um, far as uh, east as Lithia, and up north as uh, far as to Wesley Chapel, just before you get to Wesley Chapel. Perfect. So right in the Tampa Bay area. Tampa That's Bay excellent. Area. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being with us, Charles. Thank you. Good I luck really with uh, everything, and um, we'll see you soon. Thank you. Hey, everybody. We're back here at the March 2019 home and garden show i don't know less garden more home right i think a lot more home i haven't seen that garden part yet. i haven't either nope. but that's okay you know because we get some cool vendors like 
Nick Massett from Coast to Coast. So tell me about Coast to Coast because your booth is awesome. I appreciate it, Johnny. Well, first of all, thanks for having us out. Yeah, you man. Know, it's really cool to be part of this home show. It's our first one. We've uh, only been in the uh, Florida Clearwater area here uh, for about four or five months. Uh, we are a full retail shop. We carry everything reclaimed that you can think about. Uh, everything's torn down from 1800, 17, 1800, 100 uh, year old barns. Wow. And, uh, uh, like I said, everything's 100% reclaimed, uh, tobacco, tobacco barns. Uh, I was gonna say, now is that all just Florida or do you branch out to other states? Well, so we are a two man company. We got another uh, store out in Phoenix, Arizona. So Coast to Coast Barnwood, that's kind of where yeah. we get the name. Uh, my partner's out there holding down the fort. We're pretty new here. We're finding out it's kind of an untapped market and we're really excited to offer our product. We carry lots of different uh, uh, wall applications, lots of different mantle applications, beams, siding, lots of different product that you can use for in your home or even in your garden if you'd like to. Oh, so, okay, so this can be used inside or outside? Technically, yes. You know, people will do, they'll build, you know, uh, you know, pool houses or they'll they'll do roofing on pool houses or you know even do little gardening boxes but most of the time we find that a lot of our stuff comes with the wall applications that's what okay we so Friday. what is your okay you got a mission on here what's that mission our mission is to be green stay green and be part of that project for us because you know we're not uh uh, you know, we're not tearing down trees and, and cutting wood. You know, we're taking old reclaimed barn wood and we're turning into a new niche product right. that people can use in that, in, as a designer, uh, you know, features in their homes. Oh, that is awesome. Absolutely phenomenal. Now, how much product do you actually, do, I mean, is it, you get truckloads in, you get double truckloads in or no, wait, we got to go find stuff before we can build that for you. No, everything's sourced out of the Midwest, Kentucky, Tennessee, River Valley, Ohio, all throughout there. That's so good we're getting wood. lots of really, lots of good oaks, lots right. of good poplars, lots of different mixed material. And that's one thing that we pride ourselves in is quantity and quality. You know, we hit it from both ends. We carry over 50,000 feet pretty much at all times. So we are fully locked and loaded with any of the product that you might want to use for your project at, at, at your home. So uh, where and, can people find you? So we're right off, uh, right off US 19 and Nursery Road, 2596 Nursery Road, Clearwater. Uh, we're open six days a week, closed on Tuesdays. And uh, You're open on Sundays? Yeah, well, we're open on Sundays, man. So they're open on Sundays, but don't come on Tuesday because I'm just telling you right now, you ain't getting no wood. That's when and we're out Not there. having wood's kind of an important thing. Yeah, Mondays and Tuesdays, we've done a lot of our installations. Okay. So, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're helping homeowners out as well there. You know, you can come in, pick out your product you know, design your feature wall or design your perfect, uh, you know, mantle or whatever it is. And we can also come out and, and install it. I was going to say, so you're, you, you're, you install as well as sell the product. Absolutely. That is absolutely phenomenal. And you know what? You can get them at coast to coast barnwood.com, which is absolutely the coolest, one of the coolest websites I've seen in a long time, which is really kind of cool. So Nick, Johnny, man, thanks for coming it. over, brother. We appreciate it. And if you're not here, we're going to be rolling this tonight. We're going to be, if you're not here, you need to come tomorrow and look at their, their booth alone is what caught my eye. Yeah. I'm we, thinking to myself, there's my studio sitting right there. So um, we'll be back after this and we'll talk to some more cool people here at the uh, 2019 March Home Show. Hi, I am Delyn Gaston with WeBeam TV, and we are back here at the Orlando Home Show. So if you haven't come out to see this, you really should. I have a guest with me right now. This is Marcia Sauer from Hammock Treasures Handcrafted Soy Candles. These look so awesome and smell Thank even you. better. Thank Welcome, you. Marcia. Thank Thanks you for so joining much. us. My pleasure. Have you had a good show so far? This has been uh, a lot of traffic. We're getting a lot of traffic. Much busier show than I thought. Yeah, that I, I, I've I been feeling the same yeah. way. So um, tell us about these. I've been by your booth a couple of times. Just smells, these smell amazing. I didn't realize you make these yourself. I do make them myself. Tell us about that. So I have a, a lovely little craft room because um, I like to make jewelry and all kinds of stuff and uh, I got set up with a, a nice melting pot and a table and I have my wax flakes underneath and I have racks where I store them after I've labeled them and I just work in my room all day long. How do you come up with your scents and your ideas and things like that? Um, I have a uh, I have two two main stores that I uh, like to use and I'll go on there and we'll read 
read them and see what their uh, top notes are, bass notes, okay. see what appeals to me. Being at the beach, I tend to really gravitate towards things that are tropical. Um, right, right. And, and that's that's good and bad because not everywhere is the beach. So I have to get out of that a little bit because I could do all <laughs> beach scents if I was allowed to. Um, and we'll just buy a little one. They'll sell you little one ounce uh, samples. Oh, OK. And you can make that in a small candle. And if you love it, boom, you're done. You order it in big. And I have all my scents lined up in shelves. OK. And um, some things don't go over well. I was going to we'll say, but it's something that you don't say, like. Okay. And, you go, uh -uh. and that makes room for another new new scent, which is okay. really fun for me. I'm so like, I was imagining, yeah, you change those out quite a bit. And I, seasonal, too. So we'll, oh yeah, we'll really true. get a big stash for the holidays. And then that goes back in a corner. And then right summer now sure comes and I, I try to do more things that'll, you know, flowery with, and spring, with, summer yep, kind spring, of stuff. Fall. And right now we have fall. So probably pumpkin, mm -hmm. I would imagine, is kind of a biggie Banana going on. You got a pumpkin, and pumpkin thing. souffle. Right. And we've got cranberry spice and Fraser fur. Getting into and, nutmeg pretty yeah. soon. <laughs> yeah. Pine yeah. coming up. Okay. So um, how long does it take to make these? Well, it starts with, um, I have to clean the bottle out to get the sticker, to, the wick to stick. And that's a process because it has to be windexed every single bottom of every candle. Oh. Then I have a huge tub of wax flakes that go in the melter. Okay. And I have to have the temperatures going on that. I have to see the temperature of where it's melting and the temperature of what I'm pouring it into when it's melted. Oh. Certain temperatures, then you can add your fragrance. Mm -hmm. You have to stir, 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 stir. And that has to cool so that all your vessels that you have lined up, whether they're the small or the big or the melts, everything I have lined up and I'll just pour, mix, pour, mix, and I just fill everything up. Then you have to level the wick so that it's perfect with a stick or, you know, everybody right. uses something different. Right. And then you can't move them till they're cool. They can't be moved because if I pick this up while it's liquid, then it's all slurped right. up the side. And it's uh, so you have it's to just put everything straight. in a spot where it can just do its thing and cool. Then I can go and mix another batch of something else and you just keep going. Then they get labeled top and bottom and the wicks clipped lids on them so that the fragrance stays nice and fresh. And then they go in my in order on my racks and then I move to another one. So hours, hours, hours it's hard to, to say. Take. Now, and how long? So something Longer this time size. I'm layering because I have to let every layer cool. I know this one is as awesome. As I pour it again. It? So this, this one is called Beach, Beach Blanket. Blanket. Which I think is just so cool and my favorite out of all these scents That here. was Devin's idea. Make it look like a blanket, Mom, so that <laughs> Very people don't smart. pass it by. That so. is one smart daughter you have there. It worked. So um, how long does the average candle of this size burn and of this size this burn? This size will last you 120 hours. Wow. Which is a lot longer than a paraffin candle soy burn so much longer and cooler. Oh. This one is 60 and we didn't bring the smaller one. Uh, that one is 30 hours and they completely evaporate. It goes all the way down to the bottom. Okay. And uh, it doesn't release uh, the toxins and the emissions like a paraffin candle. It just disappears. You don't get the soot. You don't get the coating. Really? So they're okay. very much cleaner. And why? Candle. So a cleaner burn. Mm -hmm. And why does it burn longer than the paraffin? It's the soy. It just, soy. it just, it's liquid and you get the fragrance and then when it cools it goes right back to this and it just slides down the jar usually there's nothing left nothing and there's no hole down the especially middle especially if you've let it if you light it and you let it burn all the way across to where your liquid is completely level then blow it out then that's the memory and it will completely go down like that if you were to burn it and leave oh. that melted just in the middle and say i gotta go somewhere and take off sometimes that will tunnel because that's the soft spot that you've created and it'll follow that Oh. So you should burn every candle, no matter what size, no matter where you got it. Make sure you have enough time that it's going to burn blow it out. About how long does that usually take? Any idea? You know, um, 20 minutes to an hour attention. depends on the, okay. the candle. Not long, okay. really not long. Smaller candles will do it very quickly, you know, okay. because it's, it's, it doesn't have as wide of a pull right. to make. Now you have some really interesting tips on the back of your card as well that that um, that I didn't realize. So let's go over these real quick so people know. With burning can I don't know. I know a lot of people love to burn candles. I love to burn candles, um, but and I did not know some of these things. Mm -hmm. So tell us about these tips. All right, let me see what we have written because I don't have that memorized yet. So um, the first burn. So we just talked about how that that should be clear all the way across before you blow it out. Also trimming your wicks to a quarter of an inch, because if you were to light this and I, and mm -hmm. I really should now 
clip these because I think people are burning them this length. And this is just an out the door length. It's not a clip length. Oh, um, a quarter so of an should... inch because this will burn and smoke like crazy because it's so tall. Right. So I'm assuming that people would, I, I, I assumed that. So yes. we put it on there. No, Tri- put they it don't. Put it to a quarter of an inch and then light it. I did not know that. Um, yep. So you need to trim it. Okay. We usually say four hours at a time because this gets really, even though soy burns cooler, mm-hmm. um, it can crack your glass if you're not careful. If you, oh. if it, you've let it get really, really all liquid and you've been six, eight hours, it's just not good. We say, blow that out, get you another candle, light it. Once that's cooled, you can relight it again. But four hours is the safest. Okay. Um, yeah, me. I'm famous for li- lighting it on a Saturday morning, doing housework and everything. Well, you don't even totally know forget. where the heat is coming from or, the, or that little bit of smoke could set off a sensor or something right. in your house. Mm-hmm. I know somebody that <clears throat> did that by burning <laughs> a whole bunch at one time. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> a and little candle off. freak over there. <laughs> I think set, set off the sensor. Set fire alarm. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whoops. But um, oh, I was funny. also telling you, which I think I'd love to start carrying the the candle scissors. Yes. Because you can go right in with the scissor. They're the long way with the little round bowl. And you just go in and so clip when it your gets wick. Down. And you can pull that little mushroom black piece off. And you never have that in your candle because that makes me crazy. Yeah. I see my beautiful candle with all that black with all in that there. black on Yeah. It. So you yes. can just get your candle scissors and they just go clip and they pull that right out. Up. And That's they're very excellent. inexpensive. So I just need to find some wholesale so that I can have some. And sometimes they're just beautiful. Like they're very ornate. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's kind of a neat little. And a snuffer. And they, a sometimes snuffer. they come with a snuffer. That way you don't have all that when you oh, blow that would it out. Be nice. Heat blowing out and then all that. Yeah. You know, so goes. you can snuff it and it just sort of simmers it. Nice. It's just kind of cool. So those little extras, if you're a candle person, I think everyone should have them in their stockings for stuffers. Yeah, I think that would go. be cool if you don't know what to get someone. Not just yeah. buy them a candle, but buy them the equipment to go with it. You're right. Yeah. You're right. That is very good. So um, do you do any um, by order? If somebody says, hey, we I really have... found this scent that I really loved, but it was up in Canada when I was there last summer or whatever. I will do a special order if I can get it. Okay. Absolutely. Um, I don't have to buy a large quantity. You can buy a smaller amount, right. make a couple candles and you're done. And say, hey, is this uh-huh. it? Is this so what you're looking for? I will That's do that nice. for anyone. Yeah. yeah. Or colors. Yeah, like, I can like do a we're custom talking color. about breast cancer awareness coming up. So you could do a pink candle mm-hmm. for breast cancer I did, awareness um, or something. Nice. A football candle. Uh, a girl ordered um, some gator candles from me. Say. <laughs> and I did some orange and blue ones and named them Gators Chomp. They're super cute. But again, that takes a long time to make. So I can't pump them out as quickly as I could a, a white candle. But right. they turned out so cute. So I didn't bring them because that wasn't fair to anybody else's football team. I just, you know, but for special and, and order, I, I would say, do that. Yeah, and you are yeah. at UCF territory yeah. here, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, fair. that is awesome. So tell everybody how they can reach you. I know we have your website up yep. here. Um, you are online. Hammocktreasures.com. Yep. And um, all over the world you ship. Yeah, we can ship anywhere. Cool. Yeah. So it would be great for Christmas gifts or something like that. A lot of people have family up north or something. Yep. They can yep. send them up there. Yep. Send have, them a little bit a of beach blankets. <laughs> up north, a little bit of sea salt <laughs> s- yes, summer, right? Yes. Oh, when and because uh, Life's a Beach has um, some shells in it. Oh. So you could get you could be in Vermont and have a little bit of a little taste oh, of the ocean see, because that, would that be one lovely. smells like jasmine and uh, suntan lotion. That's one of my favorite. Life's a beach. I love that one. Nice. So yeah, that would be neat to have a little taste of the beach. See, when that's you're good. Maybe in Alaska or something. So so on your website, all these and all of the yep. scents and everything, yep. and they can just order and get shipped out. That is perfect. Yep. Thank you, yeah, Marcia. It's you. been wonderful having you here. That's very interesting. Well, I'm very to blessed know. to be here. All right. Thank you, everyone. We will be right back at the home show. Hey, guys, welcome back. This is Weave Gene TV. My name is Russell Taylor. I'm here with Blake from Momentum Solar. Momentum Solar. There it is. All right. Yes. Excuse me, guys. Okay. So, Mo- Momentum Solar, what do you guys do over there? So, I mean, it's right there in the name Solar. You mm-hmm. know, I mean, uh, we live in the Sunshine State, so it seemed as good a place to any. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely. Kind of- Kind of bring down a new branch, bring you know, open it up, get the retail mar- market established here. Okay, so um, you guys put solar on the houses so that yes, we can sir. save on our electric bills, exactly. right? Exactly. So awesome, awesome. So when you guys um, come in and you, I come to you, like we're at the, the Tampa Bay Home Show today, over here at the Tampa Bay Convention Center. Um, I come to you, I say, hey, Blake, I'm interested in solar. What's the process from there? What do you guys do? What sets you aside from all the other solar companies out there? 
Um, well, well like, like, again, it's a great question. Um, I will never sit here and say that we're better than anyone. Um, that's not up for me to decide. It's obviously up to you and really anyone else is kind of interested in it. Um, but what makes us different is the fact that we are the largest privately held solar company in the entire country. We operate okay. in nine states. Um, we have an A plus rating with a Better Business Bureau. So that's awesome. Yeah, exactly. So do you guys, are you guys like some of the other companies out there that I'm going to deal with Blake, right? You're going to be my sales guy. You're going to come in. You're going to look at my house. You're going to tell me how much I'm going to save. And then you're going to turn me over to another contractor. Or do you guys have your contractors that are a part of your business and you guys see things from A to Z? Is that how you do it? Or we do you do, guys yeah, have yeah, we, we do it from A to Z. Okay. Awesome. Um, awesome. Now, personally, it's not going to be me that comes out to your home. Obviously, it'd be somebody much better looking, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, my job at, here at the home show is I'm, I'm the angel Gabriel. Okay. Yeah, ha have you heard the good news? Yes. My job is to get you in touch with the guy um, who will come on out and show you what we're about. Take a look at your electric bill. Get you a price right down to the penny. Take awesome. a look at your roof. We won't go up there. Okay. And we won't bring the panels or anything, but we do want to at least make sure there's four walls and a roof. You know, okay. and we want to be able to at least take a look at the roof and then we'll take a satellite image of it. That way we could see how much square footage we're working with, determine what your needs are, see how many panels we could put up there to match your needs and then get you a price right down to the penny. OK, so you can get this price. Um, what sets you guys apart as far as the warranty and all of that? I mean, um, in the industry, that's a big thing for us, right? This is a Absolutely. this is a this is an investment. We're talking about we're working on the largest investment that we have, which is our home. And then so we're adding to it. But um, and then there's a residual to this. So we're going to have a long term savings on you're always going to have long term savings. But what's the warranty? Am I covered for one year or am I covered for five years? Covered lifetime? Covered for a lifetime. lifetime of your home of the home. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm a <laughs> former chef, so I'm a smoker and drinker. OK, so thank God, not my lifetime. <laughs> you know? um, but look, let's just say, Russ, man. You're tired of living in Florida for some really weird reason, and you want to move, mm -hmm. and you have Momentum's panels on your roof. We'll put the warranty in the next homeowner's name. Okay. So again, it's for the lifetime of the home. What I see a lot of people doing, especially now, being that there is a lot of homes going up on the market, is I see people doing these last-minute home improvement projects, so to speak, something that kind of creates value for the next homeowner, whether it's solar or gutter protection or whatever the case is. Most of this that stuff is going to come with a lifetime warranty. That way you get what you pay for, for sure. And you're a nice guy to the next to the, to the next people, you know? Definitely, definitely awesome. So lifetime warranty. Yes, sir. If they wanted to come and see you, where could they see you? If you're not here at the Tampa um, show, you guys have an office in Tampa. We do. They can always find us on Moment online, MomentumSolar.com. MomentumSolar.com. Okay, so guys, um, make sure. We have a sheet on there. They can, they can fill out. And we'll be get right in touch with them, confirm awesome. that appointment, and... Bob's Perfect. Will come on out. Definitely. So, guys, if you are looking for solar power for your house, make sure you guys stop by, see Momentum Solar at the Tampa Bay Convention Center today for the Tampa Bay Home Show, or go to their website, or you can go to their office down in Tampa Bay, Florida, and um, always make sure you ask for Blake or one of his teammates. Lifetime warranties, save money on your bill, everything. Great company. Guys, come out and see us. It's We're win, here today win, win. at... Definitely a win-win. We're here at the Tampa Bay Home Show at the Tampa Bay Convention Center, WeBeam TV. Thank you, guys. We'll see you soon. Hey, everybody. I am back on the showroom floor of the 2019 September edition of the Central Florida Home Show and Expo. And we found Roberto, Chuck, and Chuck. Now, I think Chuck's dead. Roberto said he's just pretending to be asleep. Hey, you guys are with Home Paramount Pest Control. Yes. Talk to me about you guys. Home Paramount Pest Control, based in Maryland. We've been doing uh, pest control since uh, 1939. We are in the area of Florida, or area of Orlando, Central Florida, uh, for about six years. Six years, and uh, right now we have uh, uh, getting big contracts. Example, like uh, Orange County Public School. Oh, wow. We do the Orange County Public Schools. Uh, we do the airport. Uh, pest control in the airport, uh, and we do residential and commercial. So we are out there taking care of people, taking care of the houses, uh, taking care of the yards, because other than pest control, we do uh, lawn. So we take care of all that stuff. Plus, we do some uh, wildlife, like raccoons, 
squirrels, you know, but sometimes they get into the attics. We take care of that too. So we take care of people. So you you guys have been around since the 30s? 39, 1939, the company, not me. I wasn't bored. I say, you look good for being around. Yeah, I'm just bringing more to that. So, I mean, so, you know, you're, you hear all these other big names, and, wow, you guys have been around. Yes, we've been around since 1939. And every company, they have their own style to do things. Uh, we got ours. And what we present to the customers, what they like, that's what we provide them because they like them, you know. So, so I'm looking down here, and it looks like to me you got the guys at everything. You got the rodent stuff. You got the the, the termite things. You got things to hit your kids with. I mean, these right here. I were, I was scared to have these. And every time I saw my mom get one when I was a kid, I'm like, oh, what did I do? Or are we going to go to a picnic? It was always a toss up with us because it's a, it's a double use. In other words, double use. <laughs> exactly. So um, so how do people find you guys? Well, they can go to their website. They, we got billboards, we got radio commercials, plus our vehicles. And uh, most of the time, uh, we got people talking in what you call it, worth of mouth. Right. And we've been going up and up and up in this area. And that's one of the reasons I'm working for this company, because I like the way they present uh, their product and the way they treat the customer and the way we take care of situations. Okay, so now are you are you strictly the Orlando area, or are you all of Florida? No, we go as far as uh, Mandora. We got Leesburg uh, going north. We go the Deltona, uh, Altamont, Claremont, uh, uh, Mineola, going south, Davenport. Uh, we go Haines City. We go in uh, we go uh, Lake Nona, St. Cloud, Kissimmee, all those areas, Central Florida. All right, everybody, if you got some bug problems, you got some rodent problems, you got some wildlife problems, make sure you go and you get a hold of these guys, 888-888-HOME. That's the number to call, right? One more time, 888-888-HOME for all your pest control needs, especially if you're in Central Florida. Hey, we'll see you back on the floor shortly.